Hello everyone, I'm Hualda Richards from the Game Train. As much as I love strategy games, I think you'll agree, a pause is necessary from them. So how about we rest up with a game like this? Yeah! Fucking wonder boy! In Monster World! Oh shit, looks like I don't have a save file this time around. Oh well. Original game by Weststone in 1989 apparently. Or something like that. Oh well. Let's get into the meat of it. Monster World was once a peaceful region. Then shit happened. The peace was shattered by an invading army of monsters. Who knew? I mean, it's Monster World. You would expect monsters. A young man named Xion vowed to defeat them and make his land peaceful again. Again? <laughs> wow. So yeah, this is Xion. Or maybe he's supposed to be pronounced Shion? Ah oh well, Shion is good enough for me. He has blue extravaganza here, which is necessary for all the heroes, and he has got his own little house. Pretty cool. He's got a sword, he can jump, awesome. I think he can do something here, but I don't think I can find it. Not that it matters. If he can't find it here, it probably doesn't matter much. What else do we have? Well, we got an inventory! We can choose weapons. Our current weapon is the Gradius. Uh, we can have armors, which is the lever armor right now. We can have shields, but because the buzzer says no, we, it means we ain't got no shields. We can have boots, but they're made out of cloth right now, so that ain't much. We can have items. No, I don't have any. <laughs> And we can also have MAGIC SPELLS! We ain't got any too. This game came in as a semi-suggestion, I suppose. Finpire came in on one of the videos and asked if I ever played this game. At the time I said no. Now I can say that I did. Son of a bitch. It, it actually caught my interest because I've never heard of it before. Plus, Sega Genesis, I must check it out. I, I only have all of the games. So, I checked it out and I kinda liked it actually. So, here we are. Welcome to Monster World! I, oh, come on, I, I thought we established that back in the house. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You will notice very quickly that this has similarities to some of the games that you might have played before. I'll leave the deciding on which game that is up to you. Let's talk with the old hag. Once again, this world is being threatened. Fuck. The princess has been kidnapped from Purpril Castle. That skanky whore. You'd better use caution. Here's an elixir and firestorm. Take them with you. Make sure you're ready to use magic at all times. And so it begins. Now if you go to your item screen, you will notice that a little bottle showed up in the items. That is the elixir. What the hell does that do? And why can't I get to it? Simple. The elixir is your life insurance. Should you lose all of your health, you will use up any elixir that you have in your inventory to save yourself from certain death. Beware though, it only heals half of your health. I think in this case it would heal full health because we don't have a lot of hearts. But later on when you have more hearts, which you can find in treasure chests, we will have mm, more well, you know what I mean. It'll be more difficult to heal up. Alright. And we also got Firestorm. It's a spell. 
We'll use it some other time because, well, as you can see, the enemies are not particularly powerful right now. Look at this cute ass snake. Chop. Coins. You need to collect coins to do shit. This also happens to be a shop. Let's have a chat. It's been years since we last had a visitor. That's probably because we stationed the shop in the middle of fuck knows where. Your journey has just begun. What the fuck you doing here? Please take care. The jellyfish will help you on your way. Provided you don't get stung. You have a discriminating eye. That's leather boots. It costs 30 gold. Would you like to purchase? No, I don't have enough money. Fortunately for us, it shouldn't be too difficult to collect 30 coins. If we just waste some of our precious time to grind for that good old dosh. Come over here, motherfucker, I need some money. Yeah, no. <laughs> we ain't going there yet. Grinding money isn't very difficult because the enemies respawn, as you can see right here. Unfortunately, these particular enemies are pretty shit at dropping money. One coin, two at best. This is gonna take a bit, so... I'm not, I don't know, I might make a cut, maybe not. Depends on how lucky we are. The first time I didn't even notice that the boots were there actually, so I, I figured out oh, it must be like the background stuff or something, so I just left. Didn't buy the boots. You don't really need to buy those boots actually. Because you can actually get through most of the game without those. There's other boots that you can get, it's just that it's convenient to have those boots at the beginning of the game. Boots make you a little faster. Holy shit, six coins. So it is worth getting the boots early on in the game. You can speed yourself up a little bit. Makes it easier to avoid getting hit. Shit, six coins again. This guy's balling. Alright, now we can purchase the boots. <laughs> I just like that little phrase. You have a discriminating eye. Feels like you're some kind of racist punk coming into the shop. Oh, that's some shit right there! Alright, we got the lever boots on. We are slightly faster now. Not quite sluggish, but... Well, not quite as fast as we would want to be. This is Pura Pril Castle, but as you can probably tell by these guards, they're probably not gonna get entry. Yes, this is indeed Pura Pril Castle. Entry is prohibited. Go away. Well, that's what we have to do now. We go away. Ah, the lovely palm trees. The lovely... Ocean resort, I guess. I don't know why, but the monsters in this game are just... Funky looking. Like, they're not even real monsters. They're more like... Cartoon villains, if that makes sense. Like these crabs look way too fucking easy to defeat. Unfortunately, they do not respawn like most of the enemies like to do. Monkeys! Destroy them too! These monkeys usually don't drop shit. However, they have a pretty high rate of heart dropping. Now, the hearts that are dropped by enemies, they're usually very small. They are used to heal up. Like, I just got hit because this crab thinks he's tough shit. That monkey has a pretty high probability of dropping a heart. But it didn't. So fuck it. <laughs> I might find another monkey for that. Well, look at that! A treasure! But we can't quite get to it yet. Maybe some other time. Oi, you! Don't do that, fucking monkeys. Platforming is a little easier now with these boots, actually. Why didn't I think of buying these before? 
Good thing the enemies right now are very easy to kill with your Gradius. The Gradius is a very shitty sword, but what do you want? It's a beginner's weapon. You should not expect a lot from it. But it's good enough to do the job. Oh, these crabs respawn. Good. And the monkeys. Give me hearts, bitch. Here we go. He gave me a heart. One heart will heal you up for one heart. It's a one-on-one -on -one exchange ratio. Good. You can ride a jellyfish. No. You don't. <laughs> Well, actually, you jump on the jellyfish like this. Amazing. And once you do that, you appear in this place. I'll find out what it's called in just now. I'll say though, the fairy village. Yes, that's what I wanted to say actually. The enemies here are mushrooms. Don't don't eat them. They might be poisonous or hallucinogenic, but we don't know that. They drop quite a bit of money consistently, so it's a good idea to grind on their poor butts for a bit. Especially in here, because... Look at this. It's a shop. It has shit in it. Welcome to Kishera. That's not the village name, and that's not the person's name. That's just the shop's name. Stand in front of the item you wish to purchase and look up, which means press up on your d-pad. That's the same way you talk with people actually. Keep in mind that when you equip a spear, you can't use a shield. Remember this when selecting a weapon. Not that it matters, you'll still have to use both types of weapons, which is a sword and a spear. How much is this spear? 80 coins. Well, what a coincidence. We just happen to have enough money. Oh shit. <laughs> if you press B, you will automatically select no, even if your cursor is on yes. Press C instead. Thank you very much. Now we can switch to the spear. The AP rating has increased to 2 stars, which is good. It means you do more damage. We might want to consider this shield, but I think there's a better shield later on, pretty close by actually, so it's better that we save some money for the chainmail instead, it'll increase our defensive capabilities. With the spear now we can do a lot more damage, which means we can nick these bitches up pretty good. Ah, that's a potion shop. A good idea to visit this place. Welcome to Felicimo! We have a medicine for sale. We don't know what it is. If it's that cave up ahead that you wish to know about, go ask Sonya. Well I hope it's not the one from Mortal Kombat cause she's probably gonna kick my ass first. That's medicine. Yes indeed. It costs 10 gold. Would you like to purchase it? We should actually, because unlike the other shops, the potion shop will always restock on the potions as soon as you use up the potion in question. Like if I'm gonna drink medicine right now, it will reappear in the potion shop for the exact same price, which is good. That is always good. However, I do not want to do that because I'm pretty good when it comes to health. Why would I want to do something as stupid as that, using up my potions right away? This, by the way, is a pretty good place to grind money, so let's do that. I like that you can grind money here pretty damn fast, it doesn't take a long time. And the more you move on in the game, the more money is dropped by the enemies, and they don't get too strong, so it makes it pretty easy to grind money, actually. Which is good, because the prices of some of the items later on are balls to the wall ridiculous! Especially charm stones, but you don't really need those. Damn these mushrooms! Get out of my way! Might as well shank them up a bit. 
I think the mushrooms here respawn twice. Some enemies respawn three times. But that'll be later. Stab them good. The music is pretty good too, but I wish it could have been a bit better. Then again, we are just at the beginning and some of the better tracks are later on. I don't know about you, but this game reminds me of Legend of Zelda actually. The second one. A little mixed in with other games, of course. It has that feel to it, even though I only played Link to the Past for a couple of minutes. <laughs> I have a discriminating eye for this chainmail. I am gonna take it and put it on. It doesn't look like much has changed. Don't be surprised. Nothing much will be changing, actually. But that's okay. Our uh, armor has slightly increased. Now we can actually do shit uh, a little longer. What about this house? I am Sonia. Oh great. The village is under attack by the mushrooms, I guess. I don't know all the details, so you'd better see Eleonora. If you stand between the statues and look up, you can find her. Do exactly that. Stand here, press up, and whoosh. Damn. I don't know about you, but I actually like that teleportation. It looks pretty good. Simplistic and good. And here's Eleonora. Queen Eleonora. The monsters come from a cave just beyond the village. Can't you help us? Well, yeah, I can. I'm here to do that. Take Priscilla with you. She may be able to help you. Remember, though, that once you set foot outside Alcedo, Priscilla will return to me, as she won't be able to help you anymore. Sucks. This is another thing that comes into play. Friends, as I like to call them, but I think the correct term would be familiars or whatever. Sometimes you will be able to er discover useful companions, familiars, well I, li I like to call them friends for simplicity's sake, which may or may not be able to assist you in battle. Priscilla's kinda shit, but I don't know. I mean, I haven't really seen any use in her. I did notice that the money that I get out of killing these bastards is slightly larger. Plus, I think they kind of dis- Oh! Oh, oh yeah, 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 now I see what's, what's up with Priscilla. Okay, so if Priscilla is attacking someone... Oh, that's, that's a t very timely discovery, actually. If Priscilla is attacking someone and you you attack it, there's a chance that she will summon out a heart as well as money. So you can heal up and get dosh at the same time. It's, it's actually helpful. Kinda like a healing familiar, but... Priscilla, as I said, is kinda shit. She's a little too slow on the uptake. I like the other friends better, actually. But we'll get to those when we get them. Damn, I'm balling in money now. Balling and rolling. Oh, heart! Oh, this one only heals half a heart. When the enemy is doing the death animation, you can walk through them safely, but while they are not doing that, best if you avoid touching them. Touch damage is a thing. 